to Thursday Business Tips. So we've already talked about how you can start your business and how you do it the right way. And so once you've gone through those steps, I'm sure you're wondering what you do next. Well, I'm going to tell you that the best advice I can give you is that you want to make a plan. Now that doesn't mean that you have to spend hours and hours and resources making a business plan unless of course you're planning to open a brick and mortar shop. And I can tell you that that takes a lot of effort and a lot of money and it can take about three years to get your money back if you're going to actually be opening a store. So my advice is plan, but plan to be an e-commerce business. So when you're first starting out, you're starting out without a lot of money. And so the best resource you have is you. So you have to work hard. You're going to have to expect that you're going to put in lots of time and you're going to put in a lot of effort and you're going to be the one to do it. So the biggest, the biggest, biggest thing that entrepreneurs have that other people who are working don't have is passion for their business. So you want to take that passion and you want to make a plan. Now when I say make a plan, what I mean is you need to sit down and be honest with yourself and realize what it is that you want out of your business. I mean, do you just want to make a little bit extra money on the side? Do you want to actually quit your job or do you want to you've retired and you really just don't want to have nothing to do because once you figure out what direction you are going to go and how much you need out of that business then you can decide what you're going to do from there so let's say that you make wreaths just for purposes, let's say you make $50 on every wreath. So you have to remember when you are setting your plan to decide how much it is you want per month. So let's say that you just want $2,000 a month. So let's say that you figure out what you want is to bring in $2,000 a month. You want to pay for the mortgage or you want to make payments toward your child's college tuition or, or whatever it is that you want. So you know that the amount of money that you want to bring in every month is around $2,000. So you need to sit down and you need to figure out, okay, so if I am going to make wreaths every month and I know I'm going to make $50 per wreath then that means that I have to sell 40 wreaths a month. So you need to sit down and figure out what it is that you want to achieve with your business and what you're going to need to get there. So the reason that you do this is because you want to set up milestones for yourself. So you want to set realistic milestones so don't start out expecting that you're going to sell 40 in your first month. Everything that you do is going to take time. You can't expect that your business is going to grow really quickly overnight because it's not. And you know if you are really in this just to make money, well I can tell you that most likely it's going to fail because the biggest thing you need to make a business work is passion. You have to really love what you're doing because you're going to be putting a lot of time and effort into doing this and to making it work. So you want to make sure that your plan is realistic, 
that you set yourself milestones along the way and the reason that you want to do this is because you want to encourage yourself most people with entrepreneurial spirit are creative people they're people that have passions and loves for whatever it is that inspired them to want to have a business so this type of person tends to expect things to happen overnight and they tend to be distracted so you know oh I like this and I like this and I like this and I like this and, and you can't operate that way <laughs> so you have to have a plan you have to keep yourself on track and, and you want to have milestones so that you can always have something that you're trying to achieve something that you're trying to get to it really helps keep you motivated so that you don't get overwhelmed and want to quit because creative people who get overwhelmed just shut down we just shut down we don't want to do anything and then all of a sudden our passion becomes a, a burden so you want to anticipate that these things are going to happen along the way and set yourself realistic goals and and know that you're probably gonna have to change those and that's okay so once you have your plan set what I like to do is I like to create a small inspiration board it doesn't have to be anything big you know you can just get go to the Dollar Tree and get a poster and you know pick up some pictures or print some pictures off from the internet or you know get them out of magazines and what you want is you want to give yourself a mental picture of what you're doing with your business and what you want to achieve with it so let's say that you've decided you want to run your business so that you can take vacations well find some pictures of places that you really want to go and put that on your board okay and make sure you put some your milestones on your board so you're going to use this as the tool that you need to keep yourself on the path and to keep yourself motivated it really does help it kind of seems like a silly thing but I promise you it helps you know I used to read those chicken soup for the soul books and I saw him uh, talk one time and he talked a lot about how he had made these inspiration boards and he would make them thinking this is what I want to this is where I want to be in five years this is where I want to be in a year and he would put them away and then if he started struggling he would get out and look at them and he said that as long as he stayed on his path and he really was moving toward his goal and keeping his passion in mind that he always got to what he had on his board so I thought that was really great and so I instituted that and I can tell you that it really it really helped me a lot so it's a simple easy thing to do and it really will help you now the next thing I can tell you is stay in your lane I say this a lot to my group <laughs> because this is by far one of the areas that can really trip you up so when you're starting out your business it's so easy to look at someone else who's doing a business that's similar to yours and say oh well they're doing this so I need to do this or you know trying to pay attention to what they're doing all the time it's not going to help you it's not going to help you you don't need to study your competition you need to follow your path that you set so what I can say is stay in your lane don't worry about what somebody else is doing in their business because that's their path that's not your path that's their path you don't need to worry about whether 
you know, oh, well, they opened a membership site, so I need to do that. They have this group, so I need to do that. They're in this group and this group and this group, and so I need to join those groups. Don't do that to yourself. Don't compare yourself to someone else because everyone is in a different spot along their business path. And you have to remember that no matter where you are in your path, they're in a different place. And, you know, they may have been doing this for years and you just didn't know that they were there. Or maybe they weren't on social media at that time. Maybe they didn't have a YouTube channel or maybe they didn't have a Facebook page. So remember to just concentrate on what you're doing and only do things that are going to help your business and going to help you achieve your goals because your goals are different than someone else's. So just stay in your lane and keep on trucking because I can tell you it's so easy to get yourself off and to get yourself lost and then you get frustrated and overwhelmed and you've lost time and when you are starting out and you're building a business time is money because what you're building your business on is you and your time so another thing that i want you to keep in mind is that it is going to take time don't expect that your business is going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a lot of effort and it's going to take a lot of your time. And so if you're working a full-time job, just understand that you're going to be giving up a lot of the time that you have that's free to start this business. And that's why I said, it's so important that it's something you really have a passion about and you love because if you don't it's not going to work you're really going to just waste your time and you're going to frustrate yourself so make sure that if you are starting a business that it's because you just really want to do that thing all the time so if you could think about doing nothing else if you think about whether it's you get up every day and you think oh all i want to do is spend time with kids all day long then that's what you should do if you get up and you think i just want to spend time with pets well then there you go if you think i love to cook i love to craft I love to fill in the blank. So this, this applies to every business there is. If you don't love it, it's not going to work for you. You really need to love it and you need to be patient. You need to realize it's going to take time and you need to stay in your lane. So that is the biggest thing I can tell you about really getting started in your business once you've gotten all of the steps in of what you need to do to get your business started legally then you need to sit down and plan and figure out what it is that you want to achieve and then you can work on the steps on how to get there so i hope this helped you and just remember one step at a time don't let yourself get overwhelmed just keep going back to the reasons why you're doing it and just stay in your lane and I will be coming out with uh, business tips every Thursday so if there's something in particular that you would like me to address then for sure let me know and I hope this helps you and I will be back next Thursday with some more business tips so you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.